The official My Hero Academia live action movie cast has been apparently leaked. Now keep in mind this is a leak, it might not even be true, but this did come from IMDb where a bunch of actors have been listed under the movie as official cast members. Of course since the leak has came out there has been a huge amount of changes such as a bunch of actors being delisted from the My Hero Academia IMDb page, which does make this listing very sus. And since this is a leak, we should take everything with a grain of salt because it did kind of make things a little confusing and I will get to that later, but let's go over the original casting and then we'll get into the changes right after that. And don't forget to like the video if you end up enjoying it, as well as subscribing to the channel if you're new to not miss any more My Hero Academia live action movie news updates. And with that said, let's jump straight into the leaked castings. Now be prepared because not only will I botch up a lot of these names, but a lot of these people who are casted as our beloved characters might not be who you envisioned for that role. First up, our main guy Deku is being played by David Mazos, the guy who played Bruce Wayne in the TV show Gotham. For a quick speed run of the list, we got Jace Norman as Bakugo, Isaac Hempstead as Ida, Grahan Venture as Todoroki, Isabel Gameros as Uraraka, which side note, I think she looks absolutely perfect for the role just by looks alone. Continuing on, we have Nico Greetham as Kaminari, Tisha Custodio as Momo, Dante Pereira, Olsen as Mineta, Lily Sanfilippo as Suyu, Amar Hussein as Sero, Bobby Hogan as Dobby, Mimi Webb as Jiro, Ava Demari as Mina, Logan Riley Bruner as Kirishima, Joshua Coley as Shinso, Steve Austin as Endeavor, Taylor Page as Mirko, and Stefan Abbas as All Might. Now there is one person that I did not name in the listing because originally they didn't have anybody that they were playing, they were just in the castings list. That being Leon Masuda, who as of right now is listed as playing Ochako Uraka. This is why I said earlier that IMDb removing all of these listings made things really confusing. Confusing. Because earlier I said that Isabel was playing Ochako and now in the updated listing where practically the whole entire cast from earlier has basically been Thanos snapped out of existence, it says that Leon is playing Ochako. Now as for my thoughts on this whole listing, I think it's kind of bad, okay? It's, it's kind of bad because... I was expecting a more Asian American or just primarily Asian casting for the characters. I mean, let's let's not forget My Hero Academia takes place in Japan and the majority of the cast of My Hero Academia are Japanese. And it's just going to be weird seeing a lot of these actors performing on the screen and they're calling each other by, you know, their Japanese names and it just wouldn't look right. It doesn't fit. But I will say for the most part this list did catch me off guard a couple times because I actually did really like some of the people who were listed on here, such as Isabel playing Ochako. She looks absolutely perfect for that role, and I'm just going based off of visual appearance. She looks like Ochako, but then we get that updated listing and we see Leon Masuda as Ochako now. So I just don't know what to think anymore. Isaac playing Ida looked honestly really good to me, especially when you see the one picture of him where he actually has glasses. He kind of looks like he'd be a perfect fit for Tenya Ida. And honestly, the one that probably surprised me the most where I kind of had to think about it for a little bit and then really be like, yo, this actually might not be a bad pick for this character is Steve Austin playing Endeavor. Steve Austin just emits that Endeavor-like attitude where it kind of just makes me like him playing as Endeavor a little more. As for the casting that I was the most disappointed in, it would have to be David playing Deku. Don't get me wrong, I like him as Bruce Wayne in the Gotham series, but I just can't see him playing Deku. Then again, I'm not just going to write David off just yet, as we still haven't seen him perform as Deku or just seen him in costume yet. I'm not even going to bring up All Might, because All Might is literally 
literally just a walking L. But to be honest, most of my disappointment lies in the fact that I just wanted the majority of the cast to be primarily Asian. That way it remains as accurate as possible to the manga within its setting and characters. Now with the casting and my disappointments aside, is the leak actually real? Like I mentioned earlier, the cast that was listed before was mostly removed from the IMDb page. And as of me recording this video, the only actors that remain on the casting list are Leon Masuda and Taylor Page as Ochako and Mirko respectively. Now this could mean one of three things. One being that just some random person on the internet just faked the entire list. But then again, why wasn't everybody cleared out? Why is Leon and Taylor still on the page? The second being that someone from Netflix that's actually working on the film posted the listing earlier than they should have. The third possibility is that Netflix saw the backlash that they got for the casting on Twitter and decided to rethink some of their casting decisions. But what I think makes this possibly fake is the fact that when you go to the IMDb page and you see who is working on the soundtracks, you see that there is a soundtrack performed by Taylor Swift featuring Ice Spice. If this is real and I end up seeing Deku twerking in the movie, I'm going to die of laughter because the My Hero Academia fandom is going to be having a rough time once everyone else sees that shit. Now, on the off chance that this whole thing is real, it does tell us that the movie is going to go way beyond the first season of My Hero Academia, given that Mirko is going to be in the movie, as well as Shinso, who we know makes his first appearance during the sports festival. Also, Dobby has somebody playing him, so does that mean Dobby is either going to be a villain for the movie, or is he going to show up in a post credit scene? Again, I do want to say take this whole leak with a giant grain of salt, and of course, while editing for this video, to add on to the rumors, it's looking like this live action My Hero Academia movie is now going to be a live action My Hero Academia TV show that's going to be on Netflix. Similar to the One Piece live action TV show that's going to be on Netflix. So yeah, just know I saw this while editing the video. So every time you hear me calling it a movie, just know that it's a TV show now. Well, at least that's what the rumor is. Though I really am interested in hearing your thoughts on the leak in the comment section below. Did you like the casting? Did you hate it? Or are you like me where you like some of it but wish the rest would just be completely different? Let me know everything in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to stay updated on the movie, I'm going to be keeping my eye very close to this project because it does seem very interesting, especially off of this leak alone. It has me way more invested into what the hell is even going to be happening with this movie. So I will be making sure to update everyone as soon as more information, news, leaks, and rumors come out about the My Hero Academia live action movie. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.